The big capital showdown after Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's arrest. Parallel developments taking place in the national capital. The Aam Aadmi Party ramping up its protests after Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's arrest. The Aam Aadmi Party held a candle march here at the heart of the national capital with Arvind Kejriwal's uh, effective number two, Atishi, leading the charge against the BJP with banners saying, Main bhi Kejriwal. Well, this is the Aam Aadmi Party claim that Arvind Kejriwal released his first government order from prison. This was pertaining to the water crisis. But the Enforcement Directorate refuted the claims. In fact, sources have told NDTV that these claims are false, to which the Ahmadi Party sources say that, well, it's not the Enforcement Directorate saying this, but the BJP actually setting the narrative as far as uh, Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's arrest and investigation is concerned. The BJP, meanwhile, demanding Arvind Kejriwal's resignation, saying that a Chief Minister cannot operate a from a prison. At a key meeting, the Ahmadi Party also mulled its strategy. But what is the way forward? We'll come to that. But first, take a look at the day's developments. Arvind, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal begins working from jail. Arvind Kejriwal ji ne likha hai ki mujhe pata chala hai ki Delhi ke kuch ilakon mein pani aur sewer ki kafi samasyaen ho rahi hain. Ise lekar main chintit hu. Kyunki main jail mein hu, is wajah se logon ko zara bhi takleef nahi honi chahiye. Jahan pani ki kami hai वहाँ उचित संख्या में टैंकरों का इंतजाम कीजिए While Chief Minister continues his work, a united opposition decides to put up a joint front with an India Bloc rally in Delhi on the 31st of March. इस लड़ाई को और तेज करने के लिए और व्यापक बनाने के लिए हम लोगों ने यह निर्णय लिया है कि 31 तारीख को रविवार के दिन 10 बजे पूरी दिल्ली रामलीला मैदान में इकट्ठा होगी महारैली इंडिया गठबंधन मिलकर के रामलीला मैदान चलो का नारा गूंजेगा दिल्ली के अंदर The India Bloc has announced a mega march at Delhi's Ramleela Maidan next Sunday to protest against Arvind Kejriwal's arrest in the alleged liquor scam case लोकतंत्र के अंदर आप लेवल फील्ड लेवल प्लेइंग फील्ड भी जो है चुनाव में विपक्ष के लोगों को नहीं देना चाहते और उसके लिए आप कोई भी हथकंडा अपनाना चाहते हैं आप चुने हुए मुख्यमंत्रियों को चाहे हेमंत सोरेन जी हों अरविंद केजरीवाल जी हों चुनाव से पहले आप चुने हुए मुख्यमंत्रियों को कैद कर लेते हैं आप किस तरीके का लोकतंत्र देश के अंदर बहाल करना चाहते हैं A united opposition is being countered by senior ministers of the ruling BJP calling the decision of the Aam Aadmi Party to continue with Kejriwal as chief minister a sham गंभीर भ्रष्टाचार वो भी शराब जैसे घोटाले में शर्म नाकृत्य करके जो जेल गया है वो जेल से सरकार चला रहा है ये देश की जनता को दिख गया अरविंद केजरीवाल जी का असली चेहरा उनकी भ्रष्ट सोच केवल पैसा कमाने वो राजनीति में आए थे मैसिव पॉलिटिकल शोराउन कंटिन्यूज बिटवीन दी आम आदमी पार्टी एंड दी बीजेपी एस अरविंद केजरीवाल इज एडमेंट दैट ही विल नॉट रिजाइन फ्रॉम द पोस्ट ऑफ चीफ मिनिस्टर एंड देयर फॉर फर्स्ट ऑर्डर्स व पास बाय अरविंद केजरीवाल फ्रॉम द ईडी कस्टडी टुडे इट इज भारतीय जनता पार्टी हु बीन डिमांडिंग रेजिग्नेशन ऑफ अरविंद केजरीवाल ऑन द मॉरल ग्राउंड एज वेल वेल यू आर विटनेसिंग दैट द एंटायर इंडिया ब्लॉक लीडर्स आर कमिंग टूगेदर एंड दे हैव प्लान अ मेगा rally at Mah- at ramleela maidan on march 31st while on the other side arvind kejriwal is fighting the legal battle it remains to be seen that whether he will get some sort of relief from the courts or whether he will be continuing his government from the ed custody this is ashwar rajan with vision le sanjay kaushik for nddtv in delhi and joining me tonight uh, on the broadcast and being joined by Sumitra V Goenka political analyst who supports the BJP Harish Kuran of the BJP is also with us Akshay Marathi of the Aam Aadmi Party is on the panel as well also Sujata Paul spokesperson of the Congress going across to you first Akshay Marathi what is the Aam Aadmi Party strategy now you have said that Arvind Kejriwal will continue as chief minister but there are a lot of legal complexities around this as well you know to run a government from jail doesn't really seem like a practical proposition Milan, I'll address the legal question first, and then I'll address the political question. Yeah. I will say the next five sentences. They will completely be factual. There will be no lies in it, and Go you ahead. can call me out if I'm lying. 
there is nothing in the constitution of india that prevents mr arvind kejriwal from exercising his constitutional duty to serve the people of delhi there is no charge sheet filed against arvind kejriwal there is no trial against arvind kejriwal he has not been convicted of a single crime until this point the only thing that has happened so far is the enforcement directorate has sought his remand which the court has given for questioning he is under suspicion according to the enforcement directorate there is no crime that has been he has been convicted of okay let's put the legal uh, portion of this aside now the political portion of this is that the bharatiya janata party for the last 15 years has been trying to defeat the aam aadmi party and has failed spectacularly they have been humiliated time after time after time and when everything else has failed they have sought to decapacitate the sitting chief minister of delhi popularly elected chief minister of delhi who won 55% vote share who won 62 out of 70 seats they are trying by hook or by crook to take him out but we will not accept the bjp's narrative on this he has been sent by the people when the people order him to leave he will leave yes. but not when the bharatiya janata party orders him to leave the bjp has no role to play in this they should do their job of actually investigating real corruption which has happened in this case which if you give me just one more minute this entire case has been built on the statement of one individual mr sarath chandra reddy who is today a government approver he was accused of the scam now he has turned an approver this gentleman donated 60 crore rupees to the bjp after the bjp allowed him to turn approver what is the connection between the accused in this in this scam and the bharatiya janata party is a question that the bjp should answer Yes. Why did they take sixty crore rupees bribe from so, this person? So the who point is now you're making on Sharad Chandra Reddy is an important one. The point that you're making on that is important, and also you know just looking at the larger context as well. And Harish Kurana come in on this because this is something that was uh, that Dr. Manu Singh we said in court as well that the timing is extremely suspicious. I mean, right ahead of the polls to to trigger this sort of a constitutional crisis in the national capital, it's truly unprecedented. You have a sitting chief minister in jail. Uh, people will question the timing. Vidant, you escaped nine summons since October, and you are raising the question on timing. When ED take a strict action against you, you you raise the question against timing. Since last October, you have a time for Vipassana, you have a time for elections, you have time for Diwali, but no time in turning up and uh, uh, and uh, respecting what the law says and and what. ED wants to uh, ask a few questions. You you have no time to answer that. So now you have been. They have taken a strict action. You are raising a great time. I was listening to Akshay Marathe. I mean, uh, they were the same people. I remember Arvind Kejriwal used to say, when you have an allegation against you, resign first, then face the probe, and if you come clear, come back again. They were the people who used to say. Now what they are saying right now is, ki. Uh, my uh, neta is in jail no matter he is in jail he will rule from there and he will be, be chief minister he will not resign from the jail what a kind of a turn around from uh, from, from their politics what they used to say and doubt what they what they say now so coming back to the to, point of sharad chand reddy as well what is your response on coming that coming back to that yeah. like coming back to that i mean what a irony you give a take us to sharad chand reddy You gave to take us to uh, the K Kavita, and now you are objecting that you have got money. Why you have got money? 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 Why you while now it's very well to say that you know it's uh, it's re- related to the elections and perhaps there's some sort of political vendetta at play but the fact is that these are corruption cases and the charges are very very serious against top leaders avidant it's uh, very interesting to note that uh, 10 years this uh, government has been in power and it's uh, only now before the elections when things are 
turning away from the bjp that bjp is using every trick under the sun to dismantle the opposition they are breaking uh, governments pulling them down they are taking uh, those people who they accuse of corruption into their party they freeze our accounts uh, and uh, media refuses to publish our advertisements uh, which uh, disclose the kind of corruption that the bjp has uh, indulged in uh, by uh, getting uh, you know this huge amount of money through electoral bond scheme which i call the pm scares fund darao aur logo se paisa lo so this and unko fayda do Hmm. so uh, you know the fact is that today the bjp is rattled bjp knows that the mood of the nation has gone away from them and that is why they are trying to uh, do all this they, they, why would they freeze our accounts to tell me just before elections why is it that this. the ed cbi uh, let me just complete it is working uh, full throttle just before the elections after the model code of conduct uh, comes into play uh, you have a sitting chief minister arrested they are the ones who are bringing in this situation okay. and saying that uh, 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 the chief minister who's uh, been uh, arrested now should resign by who are they to decide let okay. them decide let so me get sumitra goenka to, to respond to this and then i'll come to you harish uh, sumitra goenka you know as a political analyst just looking at the situation objectively you have the congress sort of a beleaguered congress talking about its frozen accounts you have the aam aadmi party whose star campaigner whose principal vote catcher whose patriarch is now in custody you have himan soren being arrested so you know is it a level playing field look at it objectively going beyond on the political rhetoric is it you know a healthy democracy that is being represented with top opposition leaders in jail the world is looking at india now these are the biggest elections in 2024 are we sending out what sort of a message are we sending out to the world yeah good evening uh, vedant see when we talk about level playing field i think the opposition has to increase their capabilities they cannot do wrongs and then uh, when the uh, ed or say for example there are various parties whom they accuse first they get into the blame game like they have blamed the judges they have blamed the supreme court they are blaming the ed they have blamed the evm machines uh, they have blamed the cbi now in the matter of electoral bonds uh, just because bjp has received the maximum amount they they are blaming the uh, electoral bonds so everybody they are blaming here now if you look at uh, the blame game hasn't worked they were blaming the industrialist also there were two three names of industrialists which they completely kept on saying have donated to the electoral bonds even that theory fell flat so now the problem uh, which the opposition is facing is none of their uh, none of their excuses are holding ground in front of the people so okay. they have started okay. saying that we have been victimized now let me answer two things one is about the congress the congress is saying that their accounts have been freezed which is actually not true there is a lean and secondly this is a case which is happening for long time around 8 9 years this case is going on and they have to uh, reply to the income tax appellate tribunal and they have also approached the high court and okay. i believe their so, matter is pending not in the getting into too many court. details regarding that because i mean it's a case no, uh, no, that, that needs a so, separate so, sort of uh, reflection on it akshay marathi very quickly your response to that because you know while um, you know as uh, sumitra goenka pointed out there is a sort of blame game the opposition says it's being victimized but the fact of the matter is that you know as harish khurana also said there have been nine summons that were skipped by arvind kejriwal manish sodia was arrested long back sanjay singh was arrested long back so you know these are these are cases that need to be investigated and many would say that you know let the law take its own course and don't bring politics into it vidan before i answer your question let me just point out to your viewers and this is not to get personal at all the person who spoke before me ms sumitra goenka she is not an independent political analyst she is the wife of bjp spokesperson vineet goenka and she should say that on live television so, instead of so, pretending so to be a okay. okay. and that disclosure was made at the very outset akshay marathi that i made that disclosure that she should support the bjp but go ahead akshay marathi i am never how does it make a difference akshay marathi go ahead how does it affect so mitra going i made the disclosure right at the top that you are a political Peter. analyst who supports the bjp akshay marathi go ahead and make your point i am this not a exactly member of the this is exactly what the enforcement directorate this is exactly what the enforcement directorate says that they are an independent body so but they are actually the bjp body so when the bjp so let him make his point yeah go ahead 
when the bjp accuses ajit pawar of a 70000 crore rupees scam and the ed files a charge sheet in that case and he joins the bjp government in maharashtra and becomes deputy chief minister then where does the enforcement directorate case go away suddenly when himanta biswa sarma is accused by amit shah of a 5000 crore rupees scam and he joins the bjp and becomes the chief minister of assam where does the enforcement directorate case against him go away suddenly sagan hmm. bujbal was in ed custody for 2 years he joins the bjp the ed case disappears so how can anyone take the ed seriously the country yes. is watching this and thinks they have made the whole country's <laughs> investigative body a joke okay our justice system has been turned into a joke by the party this party okay harish kunana your response to that because you know this whole charge of political vendetta cannot be look, cannot be overlooked entirely because you no, see arvind kejriwal harish kunana arvind kejriwal was perhaps one of the only leaders that has proven that the bjp can be defeated electorally i mean the aam aadmi party defeated you here in the mcd polls to, uh, you know at, at the assembly polls as well so Bidang, perhaps you know no, I, I that is one thing that you aspect that you have to look at as well the point Vedan, political vendetta is not entirely wrong vedan no? two points when you allegate that thing it's a political vendetta you are disrespecting the honorable courts the reason i'll tell you since last 14 months mani sisodia is in jail where now arvind kejriwal is been arrested in the same case he's been in jail since last 14 months he's not getting bail since last 16 times and security petition of uh, arvind uh, of mani sisodia has been dismissed uh, uh, three days back only so Ma- sanjay singh is in jail vijay nair is in jail so on this i mean when you say this the political vendetta is going on i mean you uh, it's, it's by the order of the court not by the order of the ed they have been they've been arrested now uh, i was coming back to what the congress uh, spokesman used to say ki hamara to account freeze ho gaya ye level playing field is not there i mean again they are disrespecting what the law says and what the what the honorable court says i'm i'm pointing this thing is a con- is a is a is a is a, is a headline where it is clearly said concrete evidence against congress with it department says honorable high court okay, i'm so not saying this response to that i'm not saying this yes. honorable court has given you you know, no relief i mean there's no relief for yes. for, for you Go and you're blaming your political vendetta yes hmm. you know we got one income tax uh, uh, notice from sitaram kesri ji's time and uh, when we are talking about uh, the ed the ed is actually working like the election department and that is why uh, this is happening because uh, in the case of this uh, delhi liquor gate also Uh, tell Comment me, on this now. if if uh, if Sarath Reddy is arrested on a particular day and five days Comment later, Comment on this now. High court of the vision. He buys a uh, no. five crore no. worth of electoral bonds, and the money is going to BJP. And then again, when he gets bail okay. and he turns okay, up, okay, I'm afraid I'm completely running out of time. And so I'm he's completely running out of time. So but... JP Nadda should be in jail. No. Okay. So Mitra, go in. Ka quick last thirty seconds. Go ahead. The BJP should be booked out. Yeah, I want to just make a comment uh, to Mr. Akshay Marathi. It just shows their regressive mindset, where they are, you know, trying to relate a independent woman with a party which she is not okay. a member of. Why can't I have that's my all right? Opinion. Okay, that's a different so debate they, altogether. But but anyway, you know, it is certainly a complex uh, question to answer. Can How is the chief minister going to operate uh, and run a government? It certainly is can a constitutional crisis in Delhi. Just uh, you know, uh, so uh, a month left for the crucial Lok Sabha polls, uh, the big political showdown in the capital. Thanks all very much for joining us uh, on the program tonight.